definitely, oh, there is something wrong with it. Don't say these things. We might be stuck at full power. Are you serious? Um, we might actually have to do a dead stick landing. <laughs> We're never gonna get down. This is a bad combination. Well, it's really quiet up here, huh? What you doing? Oh, you know, just swapping the hang point on the old trike mobile. To do? The <laughs> inauguratory, I just tried to sound too smart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first tandem flight with the Jackelson 5000, and it is a brisk morning. Brisk. I would describe it as brisk. Remember that iced tea? Yeah, it's freaking cold. We're gonna do a morning flight to breakfast because why not wow and it's not even my birthday yet i almost lost a part we're gonna take off and fly over that way where there's fog over the river and then um i'll probably get jacqueline to do some maneuvers of some sort then we're gonna land at another airport that has a nice little restaurant and we can warm up have some coffee and then fly back home before the winds get too gnarly I saw that they have pancakes on the menu. Pumpkin pancakes, no less. Yeah. Before we go, though, you might notice, you're like, what the heck? Beautiful orange and black camo new hoodie. Where can I get one? Today, on this video, we are actually dropping the new fall merch line at Risky Biscuits Co., which includes a bunch of new hoodies like this one, and we're doing a super epic giveaway. So uh, take it away, future me. So on the t-shirt side, we have the brand new river foot drag and flyby designs. By popular demand, we're bringing back the infamous blueprint t-shirt. On the hoodie side, we have the brand new flyby as well as the orange camo design. And we're also bringing back the blueprint and paraphrase designs on hoodies. As always, all of these designs are printed right here in New Jersey. In the past, you've seen us give away a $1,350 carbon fiber paramotor helmet three different training slots, as well as a Scout Carbon Paramotor. This time, we have something a little bit different in store. Now that I have the trike mobile, I have the ability to do tandem flights and show people the world of paramotoring firsthand. For this giveaway, I'm giving away one introductory flight lesson with yours truly. Just as you're about to see Jacqueline and I take to the sky, I'm gonna take the winner of this giveaway on an introductory tandem flight and we're gonna make a video about it. I'm sure you're wondering how to get entered and for this giveaway, we've changed things up a little bit. We listen to your feedback. So this time, every $5 spent on tuckergot.com will get you one entry to win. First, visit the web store and select from any of the fantastic designs. As a bonus, every order placed in the first week will receive one of these fresh new exclusive stickers. Second, fill out the required giveaway form, which is linked below. You can find the full contest rules, terms, and conditions in the third link in the description. This giveaway ends on October 31st, 2020, so make sure you get your entry in right away. I wanna give a huge thank you to all of you guys for your support. Giveaways like this really enable us to take the channel to the next level. For example, doing things like buying a trike mobile. I really appreciate the support and I cannot wait to take one of you guys on a tandem flight. I'm excited, are you excited? I'm excited. Okay, so you know how to work this buckle the thong strap. You're good to jump in. Okay, I'm going to get our engine running. You're going to be very grateful we have a fender on the front or else it would be throwing cold water all over your crotch. It's like SeaWorld, but different. <laughs> oh yeah, one tug. That's good uh, karma, isn't it? Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Get under it, taxi. <laughs> Holy frick. Yeah, that is some thick thong. Yeah, it's thick. Ooh, we 
get to dry off our feet. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't know if it's because you're blocking the wind, but I don't feel that cold. Do you? Yes, I am cold. <laughs> yeah, it's you're the windshield. Dear, what are they doing? That's questionable. Are they? Are they? Are they trying to make more deer? There's some subtle movements. Oh look, a flatbed with two John Deers. Still looking for John Deere to sponsor me. I've given them so many shout outs. <laughs> oh look, a John Deere. It's not even a John Deere. 7.48. They're supposed to be open at 7.30, so you want to start heading over there? Yeah. Get a nice view of the fog. It's marvelous. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, we definitely have a tailwind here. We are smoking. Yeah, yeah. My toggle was swinging around in the wind. You want to do some maneuvers? Sure. All right, you got the toggles. All right, see the airport just off to our left? Yes, that's where we launched. No, that's where we're going. What the frick? Are you what? lost? No, I'm not lost. It just came up quicker than I thought. I thought it was like a little further away. Yeah, we had a tailwind. <laughs> Crank and bank. Let's um, do a okay. 360. Nice entry. Now follow through. Keep into it. That was about 270. Whoa. And that was our wake. <laughs> nice, nice work. Nicely done. Take these so I can wipe my eyes. The air got me. I just thought of a good comparison. Hitting your wake on a paramotor is like hitting a patch of gravel in a turn on a motorcycle. Oh look, a deer. Oh, that's a horse. Wait, if you can't see, how are we gonna land? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can go and find that out today. Look at this dog to our left. <laughs> oh my god, do you think he wants to go for a flight? Can you imagine? I'd love that. Cool. A plus for not compressing my spine. <laughs> okay, so this is the maneuver of the century, Jacqueline. Pack up the wing. You're going to hold it on the front, and we're going to taxi into the restaurant like a bunch of bosses. Mr. Badass Plane, you ain't got nothing on this trike, guy. He's laughing at us. <laughs> got it. <laughs> this thing is big. It's bigger than me. This is hilarious. <laughs> I feel like rolling up on a trike is one of the most lame looking things you could do. <laughs> we just run into a plane. <laughs> Not today. I can actually see over you uh, because we're on the ground. We're not nose up at all. Okay, I'm just going to park us over there by the tree and then we'll pull it the rest of the way. If this is what you feel like in the air, that you can't see a thing, that's slightly terrifying. <laughs> oh, there's people in there. Oh, look at the squirrel. We can just leave it under the tree, right? Yeah. Imagine I forgot my wallet. Do you guys take PayPal? <laughs> Can I Venmo you? So this is our parking spot. We'll just leave it right under the tree here. Time to mask up and go inside? Yeah.
All right, so here we are, ready for departure. Got everything set up. Breakfast was fantastic. <laughs> Jacqueline, how was your omelet? It was so good. All the food from there is so good, and now I'm Ate so a little too full. much. Well, the winds are starting to pick up just a little bit, and winds aloft, I know, give us a headwind. So we're gonna get in the air, fly back home. We probably won't do many shenanigans in the middle. We'll probably just kind of beeline it back. But that's the plan. So far, half of the mission has been successful. Second half, we'll see. Am I on? Yeah. Aw. Look at your cute little eyes in the sun. Who, hey, Mike? Yeah. Well, this is cool. We should do this more often. You, you mean you should buy me breakfast more often? <laughs> Yeah, well, flying the trike there. <laughs> now I weigh a little bit more. Oh, our That's hang good. point's going to be off. <laughs> 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 Woo! There she is. Good old Bertha. Um, you ready? Ready as all... As I... I'm ready. Three, two, one... See ya. Oh. You wanna just like taxi a little bit? Sure. Taxiing. <laughs> Over the hump. All right, let's take off. Oh, we hit a bump oh. right as we left the ground. I know. <laughs> Don't say these things. I'll figure that out later. We might be stuck at full power. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I was like, it's cold. It's definitely, oh, there is something wrong with it. Okay, I'm gonna turn right. Oh, do you have to bend? Oh, okay. But there, the return spring's on the throttle side, and it's, even if I push the cable, it doesn't necessarily bring it back, so. It's cruise control right now. I'm not even touching the throttle. I'm gonna troubleshoot my throttle just a little bit. See if I can make it go back in or whatever. Oh, I literally can. That's so weird. Um, we might actually have to do a dead stick landing. I think that might be safer. I think it would be safer. That's what I was going to suggest. Yeah, I'll get a bunch of altitude um, once we get over there. Right now, I'm just not touching it because it's at cruise. But I literally, if I shove the cable in, I can't get it to go to idle. Which means, like, I literally couldn't land like this without killing it. Yeah. We're gonna have to shut her down. Come in hot. Well, should I start climbing now just so we have like a bit of altitude right when we get there? Yeah, I guess. We're having like little to no wind penetration up here. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I'd come off throttle a little bit or else we're never gonna. <laughs> we're never gonna get down. This is a bad combination. <laughs> Stuck throttle and headwind. Get out your oar and start rowing. We have six miles per hour, seven miles per hour. We're just stuck up here, huh? Okay, just for the record, I'm not making this up. I can add power, I can take it away. So I'm just gonna kill it. Good thing our kill switch worked or we would have been really f***ed. <laughs> well, it's really quiet up here, huh? All right. So I'm gonna bring us in kind of over the runway, but traffic's clear. I think we're just about right. We're still a little high. Wave hi to Linda. Okay, I'm gonna try to bump and go. Yes. Oh, that could 
couldn't have been better. Tucker, good job. You nailed it. Emergency <laughs> landing, <laughs> number one. That was perfect. You don't nope. need to come in on power. Yeah, that was smoother than our landings on power. Jesus. That was awesome. Good job. Thanks. Here you go. Oh, no shit. That spring doesn't look right. I think that spring, the spring moved. Oh, oh. Okay, see, because yeah. the return spring isn't doing anything. All right, so I pulled the carburetor off of the trike um, just to fully investigate what's going on here. And here you see the return spring. Obviously one end of the spring is fixed to the uh, throttle lever. This side, I just pulled around to where you see it now. That had slipped off of this end closest to us. But the interesting thing is, if you uh, try to slide this piece back, like all the way over there like it should be, like that, it springs out. And what would happen is if it moved a little further, boom, it falls right off. Now, why would that be happening? I think the problem is along this shaft, there's a washer and there's a little red O-ring that you can see right there. And that O-ring doesn't look right to me. It looks like it's coming out. See how it's flat on this side and bulging on that side. That's why I wanted to take the carb off and I'm gonna pull the butterfly valve apart, pull that shaft out and see what's up with that O-ring. All right, we're making progress. I think I found the culprit. So you see that uh, O-ring there, obviously it uh, it's supposed to seat down like this left side is, but the right side's all bulged out. And I tried to, you know, get it flat with the washer and press fit it in but it's as if the o-ring has bulged too much to fit in that depression there so i'm feeling like i might need a fresh o-ring or else this is going to happen again so after i diagnosed this problem with the carburetor i reached out to my friends at aviator explained the whole issue and as it seems it turns out you can't order that specific o-ring so the guys at aviator are just sending me a brand new carburetor I really appreciate their support. This will make things a lot easier and safer in getting the tandem trike back up in the air. Before I end this video, just a quick reminder, make sure you get entered into the giveaway before October 31st, 2020. Once again, every $5 spent gets you one entry to win. Make sure you fill out the giveaway form, link down below, and check out the third link in the description for the full contest rules. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Look forward to more tandem flights, which I already have filmed. They're just waiting to go live. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.